Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Uh, I was just working on that torque converter problem I was having with the bolt coming loose and it falling all apart. It did that to me three times and I've had it. Swapster3 sent me a message on my first video about it telling me how he cured his and I'm taking his advice and I'm doing exactly what he said and I'm going to show you what all I'm doing. Yeah, we're a little bit overcast today and it's trying to rain, so I've got this inside the garage and the lighting's not very good. Here you see I've got the assembly all put back together. But here is the tools I've got, what I did. I went and secured a, that bolt is an eight millimeter by 1.25 thread pitch. Don't confuse it. If you use a screw pitch gauge, it's going to read as a 2.0. And it's going to look like a 5 16 but you're not going to be able to find a bolt that size. So, 8 millimeter by 1.25 tap. And I put it in my tap holder. And I tap the hole out. Just to chase the threads to make sure they're not boogered up. Because the original bolt... I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but you can see the end of it, the threads are screwed up. So I figure if these threads are screwed up, they're probably screwed up inside the shaft there too. So, this bolt was one and three quarter inch long. This is the one that came with the unit. I secured a bolt, eight millimeter by 1.25 thread pitch, by two and a quarter inches long. Now, it really doesn't look like it's a half inch longer, but it is. Okay? And I found that once I chased this tap down in there, it hadn't been done well at the factory. I could hear all kinds of little threads chipping off and coming loose. So, it actually went in a lot further after I did this. And then, I took my die grinder with a Rolox finishing pad. It scuffed all the burrs from the road rash the parts got inside the bell and on the outside of the bell housing just because I didn't want them chewing the belt up. So I got that all polished down to where it's nice and smooth, no burrs. And then, as Swapster said, I took my impact driver and gave it a couple quick blasts after I screwed it in finger tight and put a wrench on it and tightened it somewhat. Gave it two or three little blasts with the impact driver. And it should be good to go. And it's raining. I'm not gonna start it up, push it outside. But, so yeah, chase that out. Eight millimeter, 1.25 thread pitch. Two and a quarter inches long. And I put a lock washer on it. I didn't use Loctite in it. I put a lock washer on it and used the impact gun to set it. Should be good to go. So, that's how you do that. Thank you, Swapster. I appreciate you um, giving me that information. That helped a lot. And uh, next time the weather's nice, I got some time I'm out here playing, we're going to give her a good bromping and. I got the new cover, it showed up, but I'm not putting it on there until I'm sure this thing's not going to fly apart again. Because I don't think they'll like it if I call them, ask it, call them back and ask them if I can have another one. <laughs> I got lucky with that deal. Alright, so, <clears throat> thanks for watching. I'll let you know. Thanks to all my new subscribers and all my viewers. Appreciate all of you. We'll see you, huh?